Hey everyone, it's Alice and welcome to July's Book Box Battle. So if you're new here you might not have seen a Book Box Battle episode before, but in this episode we are putting Illumicrate, Owlcrate and Fairy Loop. It's July boxes up against each other to see which one is the best. Um, so Fairy Loop have won two months so far. I've been doing this for a little while but since I got the three I reset the um, score tally and Fairy Loop currently have two but Owlcrate won last month's battle which was a bit of a surprise because I didn't think they were going to be that much of a contender but they really blew me away with their box last month. So we're going to start with Owlcrate because they're last month's winner and then I'll decide which is going next out of Fairy Loop and Illumicrate because I have no idea where to really start with these. I'm just glad that they're here and I get to open them up because I'm really excited about the books. I'm I'm really excited about Owlcrate's book and I'm really excited about Fairy Loop's book because I can remember what they are for this month. Um, I cannot remember what Illumicrate is for the life of me so that's going to be exciting to find out. So here we go. Owlcrate's July box is potions and poisons so i'll pop the spoiler card down only use that to let you know who the artists are when i pull the items out some lovely puffy stuff and oh we really threw the pin badge in with it this time Woo! it's pie every day on this channel so here we go to start off with we have an alcrate apothecary bibliophile brew i don't know what that means possibly a mug but it sounds interesting oh it's a tbr jar let alcrate apothecary decide your fiction or fate alcrate apothecary cures readers block bibliophile brew take one when experiencing literary indecisiveness and it's like a cork lid Oh, this is adorable. I mean, it will not fit even half of my TBR in there, but I could potentially put like some series continuations in here and maybe pick one out a month because I'm really bad at continuing on with series. Ooh, this is adorable. Oh my God. Oh, I have not fitted that back in very well. Oh, that's going to be the only annoying thing. But also it's so nice that it's got a seal to it. So no like yucky gucky bits are going to get in there oh that is lovely they've never done anything like that before and especially with it just being like book related not like a specific fandom i love that that's really cute next up we've got the monthly enamel pin badge and that is a heart in a glass jar with some heart keys popping out of it that's really super duper cute and that's by um icy designs who is half sufficial uh the author of we hunt the flame didn't look up this i'm guessing this is just um team alcrate oh this was designed by lichen and limestone Ooh, i've never heard of them but i'm gonna have to check them out because if that's their style i really like it Oh, it literally says on the box. I just should have checked that. We've then got a little bag with like a... Oh, is it empty? Is it like a thing that you can like fill up? Oh, I can't undo the popper. Oh, God, that's quite tight. Yes, it is. It's like you can put something in there and then you can put it in your purse handy dandy, but it's like cute okay i didn't know why you wouldn't just have a bottle in your purse but i guess for some people if they're like aesthetically minded this will work also it's like a key ring at the same time so in that case i understand why you wouldn't put the bottle in your purse because you would have the bottle on your keys instead that's really handy especially at the moment when we're all using so much hand sanitizer this is blissfully bookish co and this is inspired by lucy pavince's healing cordial um from narnia so that's really really cool nice i don't think i've ever had a narnia item before so that's really fun again something else i've never seen before though so they're smashing it for that we have 
Fiction Bath Co. Vial of Dreams, uh, which is Watermint and Clementine. I thought for a second it said watermelon, and I was like, watermelon and clementine would be a bit of a combination. Um, I will get this opened up and have a sniff. This is a bubble bath, so I might not end up using it because I do have eczema and it gets kicked off by the weirdest things. Um, but also I'm not going to pour this all over myself because last time they included any kind of toiletries it was like a hand uh, lotion and I managed to pour lotion all over myself while I was opening it. So this time I will not do that and I will just give this a quick sniff. Oh my god that smells amazing. That smells like watermelon. That's so weird. Maybe it's because watermelon's in my head. But that literally smells like just a kind of slightly sharper scented watermelon maybe my nose is broken but that's pretty cool i actually quite like that again i'm not a huge fan of them including toiletries just because of my skin condition but i like the smell of that so i don't even really mind that much more puffy stuff then we've got another enamel item and this is an enamel bookmark by herbareal um and this has drink me and eat me so this is alice in wonderland inspired they like putting Alice in Wonderland items and things and I actually find this really really cute. Um, the last one of these that they did wasn't quite long enough um, and that chain still does not look very long to me so I don't know how useful that's actually going to be but I did see somebody say that with their one they did like a Ouija board themed one last year I think and somebody made it into earrings which was so awesome so I might look into doing that instead because I also don't think I'd want to use these as a bookmark because I feel like it might, like the chain might chew up the pages. Um, but it's a beautiful design, like beautiful item. We then have Fenburn's Fatal Frozen Delicacies. Oh my God, it's like a popsicle thing. Oh my God, yeah, popsicle mold. This is inspired by Three Dark Crowns and it's by Paperback Bones. But again, this is so useful and they've never included anything like this and I don't have any popsicle molds and I have two children. So this will come in really, really handy. What are we doing at the moment with all the like brand new things? This is amazing. This is such a good box. Oh my God. I'm not even finished. There's more. There is. I'm guessing this is probably a tea towel. Oh, but it's got Deadly Nightshade on it and it's got Latin for the plants and like illustrations and stuff. So this is like exactly my aesthetic. I love these things. If you put me in like a museum gift shop, this is what I'm going to be grabbing. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Los Lagos Poison Garden. Oh my God, that's really pretty. This is by Amy Mac Illustrations and this is inspired by Labyrinth Lost. Okay, I mean, if there's like a plant person in Labyrinth Lost, that's going to be a book for me to read, isn't it? Oh, that's stunning. Oh my God. Wow. And then we finally get to the book, which, oh my God, they made it blue. Fairy Fairyloop did a version of this and they made it purple and purple is my favourite colour and I was so tempted to get the Fairy Fairyloop version and then I figured out that this was going to be the Owlcate book so I was like, I'm not going to want the Fairy Fairyloop one but I'm really glad I didn't know because I love blue as well this is working for me uh, let's try and get her open oh, it just ripped me signed edition sticker Oop. at least I haven't actually ripped my signed edition so this is by Kaylin Bayron, who is the author of Cinderella is Dead. Um, this is her second novel and oh my god, this is so pretty. It's like changed all the way around. I love the blue. It pops so nicely with the purples and with the magic. Oh, like gold foiling. We've got the signed page there. And we've got flowers under the cover. I was on the foiling on the under the hardcover under the dust jacket and then art as well wow even though they aren't doing speed even though they aren't doing spray pages their editions are still so beautiful like I love this I love everything about this book this is the kind of book that I would have ordered if they'd done this as a special edition by itself instead of just in a box but this is such a good box and we also have a little thing, oh that's a postcard for the Five of Night, 
and the little hint for next month's box which is dark academia and includes an item a book sleeve from saint Dree. so looking forward to next month because i do love my book sleeves so i can tell you now that is going to be a very very hard box to beat and i don't actually know if either of the others are going to be able to do it because that's a book i'm really excited about it's a design that i really loved on it and i loved all of the items in there even the ones that I might not necessarily use, I really love the designs of, or I love the scents of. So that is a very, very, very good box. So I'm going to move on to Illumicrate next, um, because Illumicrate have been low-key disappointing me recently. Um, I think it's just, they're starting to curate their boxes more for like Instagram pictures so it's more of the aesthetically pleasing stuff rather than the useful stuff and as you can tell based off of how I've just reacted to that owl crate box I love me the useful stuff so I think Illumicrate is just becoming a box that isn't necessarily for me anymore um I still really like what they're doing I still like the books that they're including so I am still going to stay subscribed but I'm just not completely sure because there are a lot more decorative items in here um and I'm not somebody who really likes those that much. So I'm going to do this one next. Just because uh, Fairy Loot normally has a nice mixture of both the decorative and the usable items. So I shouldn't end this on a bummed note. Because I feel like most of these book box battles recently I've been finishing them. And I've been a little bummed out. And I don't want to bring you guys down. And I don't want to bring myself down. Especially when I'm starting off with such a strong box first. So we'll move on to the Anuma Crate box. And that is Never Enough is the theme. Um, again, I'll refer to the spoiler card to let you know any of the fandoms and the artists. Oh, on the top there, we've got the In the Ravenous Dark book plate. This was from April's box, um, but it got held up in the whole Suez Canal thing. And it didn't get here in time. Um, but that's finally been sent out, so that's really, really cool. I can put that in my book because I really enjoyed In the Ravenous Dark when I read that a couple months ago. We've then got a little sampler of The Upper World by Femi Fadugba. Um, I haven't heard anything about this, but it's soon to be a major Netflix movie starring Daniel Kaluuya from Get Out and Black Panther. So that's really, really cool. I've got a feeling this might be up on NetGalley at the moment. So if I like this sample, I will be running straight there. <laughs> We've then got the Illumicrate mug, um, so this is the Rosie Thorns 88 mug, and um, this one is called Between Us, and this is inspired by, I don't know, there is a blue person with a dragon, and a red person with a phoenix, and it looks very epic little bit of chipping around the top of my mug which is a shame I don't know if that will affect the usability of the mug because I always drink out of this side anyway so I can't imagine that that will affect it it's just a bit of a shame because these are normally like absolutely perfect but that's okay these things happen but that is inspired by the poppy war oh okay yeah because there's the dragon republic so I should have probably twigged that because that book is blue but that is beautiful. I would have expected more poppers with it being a poppy wolf, but it's really, really pretty. I don't know why that one's struggling to fit in the box this time. Probably just me. <laughs> there we go. Then we've got... Oh! I know what this is. This is one of those um, magnetic photo frame things that's like the one that came in their Addy LaRue box. I can remember this being revealed now because this is inspired by Red Rising. And that'll be Mustang and Darrow and Severo. And it's really pretty. Oh, it looks like a family photo that's a bit like the magnets that they've been doing recently. That's super cute. I'm not like a huge fan of it because it's decorative also it's red rising and it's stunning artwork so like i'm a sucker for this and this is artwork by mer wild and designed by crown and fable oh that is really stunning Darius hair is so much more luxurious than i've ever imagined it but i'm living for that <laughs> I 
I will need to have to find somewhere that I can store that without the babies destroying it because that deserves to be displayed. We've then got another box. So I will slice this open. Do, 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 do. This looks like about the right size for the book pots, um, the ceramic book pots that Al Al Lumicrate do. Um, but I didn't think we were scheduled one for a few months. So we don't normally get those the same months as the mugs. So if it is, I'll be very surprised. Oh, it's not because it's got like the polystyrene stuff that comes in ornaments. Oh. Oh, it's like a very intense statue. Kind of intensely weird. It's a statue of Lila Bard. Who I want to say is the one from A Darker Shade of Magic. Yeah. I don't remember there being strange statues of them. Especially strange statues with such intense eyes. But like, okay. It's new and it's interesting and they've never featured anything like it before but I'm a little bit terrified by it. Um, and this is by Avondale. And so nothing against the artwork. I think it's just where it's just completely plain white and has those solar blank eyes just staring at you. This is also nothing like I imagined Lila. So that's obviously my own fault. But I imagined her very differently to that. And I don't think I'm ever going to unsee that now. Okay. Um, again, this box is a mixed bag for me. Because what use am I ever going to have for a little bust of a fictional character that doesn't even look how I would imagine her? But that's okay. Because I already said, like, I don't know if this is for me now. And this is just proving that more. But hopefully I'll love the book. We then have in this little box here, a pocket mirror. See, that's really handy. To define is to limit. And this is inspired by Dorian Gray. Oh, classic. Nice. And that's designed by Tia Kinsman Art. Oh, Tia Kinsman art? Tia Kinsman. Easier to say than Tia Kinsman. Very pretty design. Actually useful. So I like that item quite a bit. And we've got a couple more things in here before I get to the book. Do, 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 do. We've got a fan, which is handy because it's very, very hot at the moment. So unbearably hot all the time, even when it's raining. And this has got... Try not to break it, Alice. Try not to break it. I never know which way fans open first time. Uh, right, so we've got... Try and separate that out properly. No might was... No night was perfect for treason, but this one came close. Oh, that's Descendant of the Crane by Joan He. Um, oh, I really enjoyed the ones I meant to find. So I'm planning on reading Descendant of the Crane soon. Um, so it's nice to have a fan inspired by it. That's really pretty. I think they did a fan before that was inspired by Six of Crows. And that was really cool as well. So I like fans. That would be cool if that was something they included more. Because that's decorative and useful. And I like that. I cannot get that little thing back around it. So we're just going to put this back in the bag and hope it doesn't get ruined. And then we've got... Do -do 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 -do, last but not least before the book... The Enamel Pin Badge by Stacey McCoy Quant that is inspired by the book of this month. And that is really bright and colourful and beautiful. And I like that a lot more than last month's badge. Because last month's badge was interesting, but it wasn't to my tastes. But this one is nicer. I just realised I forgot to say who did the fan. And that was designed by Fifi Rowan. So now we're going to move on to the book. And the book is... And it's nice yellow bag again, which is lovely. Ooh, 
yellow sprayed pages. What a strange coincidence. I was only saying about the fairy loop last month that we don't get yellow very often. And now we've got two yellow, like two months in a row. Oh, they've made it red and gold. This is She Who Became Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. Um, oh, this is why I stay subscribed to this box. The item's not always hitting me in my happy spot, but like ombre with the stenciled flames in the reverse ombre, stenciled clouds, flames. I'm not even sure what they are, but like I'm, I'm, I'm living for it. And the bottom is a different color to the top. How cool is that? That is very cool. And obviously it's foily. And then we've got the little signed book plate. Oh my God, her writing is so pretty. We've got the end papers, which are really super funky dory. I remember them saying this and I was a bit confused. It's also digitally signed. I don't know whether it wasn't meant to be like signed book plates and then they'd already got the digital signature and then they were like, actually let's do book plates. Oh, it's also got foiling that says she didn't just want greatness, she wanted the world. Ooh, okay, this sounds really interesting. And then some beautiful artwork under the dust jacket. And that beautiful artwork under the dust jacket is by Glass Bearer. I mean, I'm I'm into this book design. I'm very much into this book design. If I can actually close it properly. Oh, it's very, very pretty. Okay. So I'm looking forward to reading this. <laughs> I still don't think this has impressed me more than Owl Creek, but the book has, yes, even though the book isn't one that I'm like highly anticipating because I don't know much about it, the book has impressed me more than Owl Crate, but item wise, I think Owl Crate might still be winning because I do really, really like the useful items and that is something that's never going to change about me. So I am sorry for that because I feel like it, I only have myself to blame for my recent disappointments. But we will now move on to Fairy Loot and we'll see how I'm feeling at the end because I do really like that Red Rising item. The haunted bust I could do without. <laughs> Let's see if Fairy Loot have anything as scary in here. <laughs> And again, we have this spoiler card, and this is Tales Retold. And in this box, we have some more puffy stuff. Puffy dad. Right, we got a tea tin. And this says, Be glad of your human heart, pity those who don't feel anything at all. And this is inspired by Sarah J. Mass. So I'm guessing this is probably Crescent City because there are moons. But also there's the mountains, so that looks like that's going to be Valaris. So this might be inspired by a Kotar instead, I do not remember. Oh, okay, this is a Court of Thorns and Roses. This is designed by Chatty Nora. Can you spot the wings? What? Well, that's a question and a half. I don't think I can the wings but that's okay oh i thought it was like chipped around the top but it's more little stars so that's very cute i like it i don't really have a need to oh there are the wings <laughs> oh my god there's me like where do they be <laughs> that's clever i really like that um i don't really use tea tins because i don't really drink tea but this is very very beautiful um very pretty and very surprising having the wings inside we then have a bag oh it's a book sleeve book sleeve not a bag and i'm guessing no i'm not even guessing i have literally no idea possibly spin the dawn because that kind of looks like the person from the cover and this is somebody sewing and i know that's like project runway but not 
the blood of stars duology that is spin the dawn i'm proud of myself for figuring that one out and this is designed by rosie thorns 88 i should have gotten that but it's humongous it's very softly lined and it has a zip so this is now officially one of the most useful book seeds that i own um because also that's pretty much gonna fit massive hardcovers as well and it has a zip so oh i can take my fancy schmancies to work with me this is wonderful i love this thank you fairy loot for this okay oh they're giving out a run for their money i'm excited this is how i like feeling during these videos excited i'm gonna guess this is inspired by caraval because it's playing cards it's not inspired by caraval it's inspired by heartless which is interesting let us be unlucky and open it up together this is inspired by team inspired by designed by team fairy loop <sighs> and playing cards huzzah <laughs> and thorns so you can see that it is definitely inspired by heartless Shush. i'm gonna have a struggle to try and close this back up now aren't i why would i open it why why would i think that opening it was a good idea opening it was not a good idea uh, why am I such an idiot? I can't do anything normally. We'll, we'll leave that like that for now and deal with that in a second. <laughs> we then have socks. Oh, Cinderella is dead socks. I can read the poison heart while I wear these. Cute. And they have like the dress from the front cover and they're purple and they have butterflies and books. Oh, and these are really thick as well. And they look massive. I'll be wearing these to work. This is all really useful as well. Um, and those are designed by Katarina Book Designs. Beautiful. Sad that they didn't do a matching edition of Cinderella is Dead to go with their Poison Heart because that would have been really cool. And we've then got, oh, at the bottom here, a print, which, as I keep saying recently, loving this whole design where it's got, like, the really minimalistic foiling on things. Really happy with that. And this is uh, Maya from the Star Touched Queen series by Roshani Choshsky. So that's really beautiful. And this is designed by Caven Kaylee. Such a beautiful art style and very unique compared to some of the things that they've featured recently really like that and then we also have the tarot cards for the month who are the king of wands and the queen of wands now i'm guessing these are caraval people are these caraval people yes and these are designed by morgana o anagram caraval now we get to the book which is <gasps> Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. And this has the stenciled edges. It has a purple block at the top and bottom. It has the beautiful redesigned cover that is pink and pastel-y. And it's also got some very light foiling on there, which I really like. For some reason, the thing is like bookmarking the middle page. So that's really interesting. I've never seen that before. Um, we have, oh, a map, pretty. We have the author signature, if I can ever reach that page. Huzzah! And we have... Oh, beautiful under the dust jacket foiling with some swans and a lady. Oh, the foiling even goes onto the spine with some cranes. And then we have this beautiful under the dust jacket artwork as well. And that is designed by Salties. And so is the foil embossing on the case. Wow. This is amazing. Um, oh my god, now I've got a decision on my hand. Because Fairy Loot have included really, really useful items too. But their book is a lot more beautiful than Owlcrate's book. But then Owlcrate included a lot of things I've never had before. Which is new. Oh wait, before I get too excited. Here's the... Um, Oh, the author letter is also designed by Salties, and we get the little bookmark as well. Um, and there's no spoilery hints for next month, I don't think, is there? Yes, 
I dropped those. So the next month's theme is Love Struck. I am struggling to make a decision here. Oh! Uh, I'm gonna have to give it to Owl Crate again. I think. I do really like that book sleeve. But Owl Crate had the TBR pot, which they'd never included before. They had the popsicle mould which they'd never included before they had the beautiful tea towel which was just stunning i'm giving it to owl crate just because the items are way more to my aesthetic i loved what they did with the book i wish they'd done more to it imagine like like bright blue sprayed pages to match the cover design that would be amazing and i do really like what fairy loop did with their book but illumicrate win for the book Illumicrate's book was the most gorgeous, I just liked their items the least, and I liked Owlcrate's items the most and their book the least. And Fairy Loot, I was impressed by a bit of everything, but I didn't love any of it, so I'm going with Owlcrate. Oh wow, Owlcrate went two in a row! Oh my god! Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you think that I picked the right winner, please let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe because we do post one of these every single month. We post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. So we will be back in a couple of days with a new video for you. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Sweet.